louder. I know we're practicing. Imagine an entire class filled with students. It's here. awkward with just you in here, but I'll try. I get it. I totally get it. It's awkward. Let's acknowledge that. Let's pretend there are kids in here. Okay. Great. Folks, at this point, we have about four people who are not on what they're supposed to be on, and I really want us all to be on um, work on IXL on the right topic. So if you're not on skill I-5, if you could please do that now, I'd really appreciate it. Great. I'm going to stop you right there. That was much louder. It was more powerful. Um, what it wasn't was concise, and I should have named that up front. It needs to be much shorter than that, and name the specific skill. Saying something like, we have folks that aren't on what they're supposed to be on doesn't actually help a student. What's the thing they're supposed to be doing? Try and get it out in like 30 words, 20 words or less. Same volume, same power, um, more succinct than that. All right, let me give it one more shot. Great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're right now have four students who are not on skill I-5. If you are not on I-5, please get on that now. Great. Perfect, and you hear me snapping to show my, uh, to show my uh, how impressed I am with that. Um, think about um, succinct, think about naming the exact skill that kids need to, need to be working on. Gotcha. Sound good? And so now let's look at our uh, direction for more than five kids. Um, again, I'll reiterate, nobody's going to parachute in through the ceiling if uh, you do an anonymous reminder for six students, if you do a group reminder for four students, but when you think about group reminder, I want you to think you've given a direction and it's broken down. Teachers, I've seen a million teachers do this. I imagine you have as well. The directions, for whatever reason, something was missed. And now, instead of just like, put the brakes on, let me just remind everybody what's going on. Teachers try and like individually like, hey, do that thing I said, hey, do that thing I said, and they're pinballing around the room, um, as opposed to, something that would be much simpler, which is just what we call our group reminder, reminding everybody of the expectation. Okay, can you show what that would look like? Yeah, exactly. So we have our model down here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to remind everybody of the expectations. At this point, we are silently copying down the notes in our notebook. And if you notice, watch me looking at the entire room. It's not the, as specific as the, as the um, self-interrupt was. Even the anonymous reminder can be a little bit more specific. This is me watching the entire room. Are there students who are doing the right thing at this point? Yes, more than likely, but still looking at the entire room. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to remind everybody of the expectations at this point. Right now, we're silently copying down the notes in our notebook. Got it? Great. And then one more I just want to show you, because often, um, a group reminder needs to occur while students are actually doing something. And so you might need to get students' attention before you do, before you do it. Right? So let's say kids are involved in a turn and talk at this point. You notice that they're talking to the people behind them. Somebody's throwing something at somebody else. Something that sounds like this. Folks, can I have voices off and eyes on me in three, in two, and in one? Great, thank you. Folks, I just want to remind everybody of the expectation at this point. Right now, you are talking only to your neighbor in your whisper voice about the answer to number four. Again, right now, you are talking only to your neighbor in your whisper voice to the answer to number four. When I say go, we're going to start that again. Ready, set, go. Make sense? Yes. Feel good about it? I do. All right, give it a quick uh, script. I don't think it'll be as good as what you did, but I will give it a shot. We'll try, we'll try, and there's, there's no expectation. Of, uh, of perfection. We are just, just building these skills. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'd really like to remind all of you of the expectations. Right now, you guys are supposed to be working silently on IXL I-5. Great. Okay. I'm going to stop you right there, and I'm going to break character. Guys, at this point, we're actually going to assume that we just did the exact same thing with Aaron uh, practicing and me giving him feedback. We're running short on time, so I want to get to what the end of this meeting could look like. So we're going to pretend that that just happened fluidly, fluently. It's Sound cool? Great. Absolutely. Let's move this camera over here. Good at not being so good. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, great. Now, question: Would you provide the person you're coaching? Would you provide me with the agenda at the beginning, or would that just be for you? Um, I always just use the agenda for my my own personal sake. 
you see how quickly things happen. I've never seen a teacher who's like, wait, but you said this was going to happen next. Gotcha. But I think it's fine if you want to share that with them. I just don't think you're going to get a ton of bang for your buck for gotcha. it. Gotcha. Sound okay. cool? All right, let's get back into character. Right. Um, okay, so Aaron, thanks so much for um, practicing these three techniques. Quick thoughts, big thoughts, questions you have about this stuff. No, I mean, I, I, when you keep giving me the input, I realize I'm not talking loudly enough. I really need to focus on that. Um, and I don't think I'm going to have it perfect, but I think that I, I, I'm ready to start implementing these skills. And hopefully when you come and observe me, you know, um, you, we can, before you come, give me a few, uh, w what your, your uh, cues will be to help me kind of focus on the things we're discussing. Great. Um, yeah, and I think uh, what's important to realize is that there's no expectation now that after a, a, a little 10 minute practice that we're going to be perfect. This is like, let's dip our toes in the water, let's start trying to implement this stuff, and we'll revisit this um, multiple times over the next few weeks. Does that sound cool? It does. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to practice like a couple of these maybe at home to try to get it to feel not as awkward as it does right now. Great. Um, that's a great idea. Let's talk next steps because I'm coming to see you uh, two periods from now and I want to make sure that I'm supporting you in that sense. So we've done some real-time feedback and for this, one of the reasons why I had you write the numbers here um, is because I'm going to be in the back of the room mm -hmm. and when you're instructing, I'm basically going to give you number signals for which technique you should, you should use. And so we said that self-interrupt was one to two students, but our signal for that is just going to be the number one. Okay. If I put up the number one, you know that there's a self-interrupt, and I may include with it pointing at the very students, right? And so, that would be very right? And so you see me in the back of the room, there are a handful of students, um, and you're, you know, you're caught up in your lesson and you're not necessarily noticing it. I'll put up my finger, I will point at the students, and at that point you you make sure that you self-interrupt for those gotcha. students. Great. Anonymous reminder, I know we said three to five, but that's going to be a three, right? Okay. That's just going to be the number three. Hey, there are around three kids that aren't doing what you're asking, and at that point, you're going to reset the expectation by saying, folks, at this point, we have about three to five folks who aren't actually meeting our expectations of doing blank. I need those folks to join us immediately. Okay, so I'm just going to make a note of one and three, so I'll, I'll kind of remember what to look for. Great. And then, of course, you could probably predict this group reminder will be five. You'll probably know that one. We could do a million things for a group reminder. I could be like this, which means everybody, but like... I prefer something <laughs> a little more subtle, subtle so right? I appreciate that. Um, so we'll put up the number five, and that means like, hey, at this point, whatever direction you gave, for whatever reason, it's not working. Um, and that's resetting, doing an entire reset. It may need to be what we just practiced. Folks, can I have voices off and eyes on me in three, two, one, and then doing it? It might be something where like, you've asked kids to silently copy something and half of them haven't even lifted their pens yet. And you send the group reminder. Folks, I just want to remind everyone of the expectations right now. So it seems like the first one would be more that if people aren't doing something they're supposed to be doing to get them to do it, and the second one that we went over would be if they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing to get their attention before I give directions again. Yeah, and just in terms of thinking about even the second one too, like um, they can still not be doing what they're supposed to be doing, but they might be just, they might have heads down. And that, so then you can go with the first one there. Um, but if like there's noise, think the second one, there's noise, they're not gonna hear your group reminder. Gotcha, so the second one is if they're not gonna really get the directions I give them without refocusing the attention of the class. Great. Perfect. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so I'm going to come in today, um, uh, two periods from now. One is self-interrupt, three is anonymous reminder, five is that group reminder, um, and I'll collect data on, we already know that the data is around 80% for the whole of, of DI, um, but I'm going to collect data on what actually happens after you do these things, because I think that's going to be the fascinating piece to see the on-task jump back up after you, um, after you implement these uh, redirection strategies. Gotcha. I'm ready. Let's bring it on. Thanks, man. Thanks for your time. Much Always appreciated. a pleasure. Cool.